If you are squeamish, you may want to look away because we do have some cockroach is in the studio this afternoon. The El Paso Zoo director, Joe Montisano, joins us now to tell us why. So, Joe, welcome so much. Thank you. Into the studio. Now, the quit, quit bugging me event is back for another year. Tell us how the cockroaches are involved <laughs> in this. In well, this it's event. all about the cockroaches. These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And so every Valentine's Day, this will be our third year, I believe, we do a special where you could uh, go on the website, you could click on and assign a name to one of these guys, and then we feed them out to the animals on Valentine's weekend. So it's a special treat for our critters a lot of times, because uh, they're good, good crunchy nougats. Crunchy yes. nougats. Um, which, which animals can participate in eating well, some of these? I mean, I obviously we saw a video of the meerkats. Yeah, the meerkats really love them. They're like a real treat for them. We also can feed them to the orangutans, and a lot of the primates like them. And, ah. and really, they just pop them like snacks, I mean, to them. And so and a lot of our reptiles Yummy. as well, our iguanas <laughs> and our lizard collection, uh, they eat them as well. Now, you have a challenge for people um, uh, to unfortunately donate. Unfortunately, I do, yes. Our marketing department last year came up with this great idea that for every thousand dollars, I would eat one of the bugs. <laughs> uh, and so I actually get the pleasure of eating these, which are um, dried, these are actually dried cockroaches from Thailand. And so uh, we don't, these guys are education boys, they will be saved. Uh, this is Ernie and Bert, so they've been our collection for Ernie a year or two Bert. now. But uh, these this guys are the ones I get to eat. Again, these are ready for human consumption. And the ones we feed the animals are the Madagascar hissing, though. And those, are those alive when you feed them to them? No, we actually, they're freeze-dried and they're dispatched humanely. And then they, we, they, they feed them basically already dispatched. How many names were selected last year? How much was donated? Oh, yeah, we had 20, over 20,000 names submitted last year from 97 different countries. And I think we raised, well, I know we raised about $11,000 because I ate 11 of them. <laughs> so, of course, uh, you I know that, that, yeah, I'm not going to forget that, obviously. <laughs> and do you know what the most popular names are? I think it's Mike and Michael. Uh, actually, uh, kind of boring, but it's the Mike and Michael names that they came out as the most popular, yes. And people can pretty much select any name. Obviously, it doesn't have to be an X. And how can they uh, donate and select a name for these Just go on the website, elpasozoo.org, and there's a link up there. And all the way through Friday, you could assign a name. Uh, and yeah, we do get a lot of ex-wives, ex-spouses, ex-boyfriends, and different things. So it's a cathartic release, basically, to have them to have an animal eat the name, I guess. So We'll definitely be having a link on our website so that people can watch it live. It's going to be, what, Saturday? Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, a different time Saturday and Sunday, but again, go to the ElPasoZoo.org website and you'll see all the details. And you can see them being consumed by the meerkats. Thank you so much, Joel, for coming in and bringing in these Madagascar Certainly. cockroaches. Certainly. Thank you for having us. <laughs>